Hello, it's Sarah. And tonight I'm making another angel. She's a gardening angel. And I wanted to show you guys, I got this stuff at Dollar Tree. Got these little eggs. These are bunnies. And these are little fences. And then there was another pack that was like all, um, Sorry, I, I dumped them out already. Like, not the bunnies. The bunnies were in their own pack. A uh, watering can, um, pots, flower pots, a wheelbarrow. I won't be using that. And then there's pots that have flowers. So these were at Dollar Tree. I got a pack of them, but I'm going to make a little gardening angel. I already put together the body. I'm just going to set that aside and let it really set up. But I'm going to paint, and then I think, I'm going to put her hair on and stuff, but I might try to give her a hat of some type. I'm um, going to have to figure out. I might just be able to make, I wanted to make a straw hat, but I think that I could, I'll definitely make it out of something. So that'll be another video. But just for this video, I'm going to paint this stuff. Um, I think I'm going to paint the fence with, uh, buttermilk and then I'm going to highlight it. Yeah, I, I'm getting extra. I'm doing, there's no way that you really need to do to be this extra with it. Like by extra, I mean like by shading and highlighting. Um, anywho, it's late and I'm, I don't, I did not realize how late it was. Um, but anywho, let's just, uh, I just want to see what it looks like. It's going to be so cute. I think I'm just going to use like a number three round. Um, Kirby is so annoying, my little dog. So I'm just going to, I, the only thing I did so far was I put some matte medium on it because I had it out. I, it's what I put on the front and the back so that it was kind of shiny. So I'm just going to go, you know what I should do? I think I'm going to base everything with it because it'll just, you know what, it's so close to the wood color. Um, it'll give a, um, an undercoat. You hear my dog? She's trying to get in the basement. Um, my husband, Joe, got, I think it's called like a CNC machine. Dude, we are going to have, I don't know what it can do. It's like a router or a, it's like a router and a 3D printer and a Glowforge all in one. I don't know what it does, but it is computer operated. That's his jam. Um... We'll see. He's got to put it together first. It's like a, it's like a giant erector set. He he, is in heaven because he loves putting putting stuff together like that. Um. So yeah. So he's doing that. And um, I haven't been in the craft room, and I'm going to undercoat. <clears throat> let me think. Yeah, I'm gonna undercoat my bunny. No, you know what? Because I think I'm going to paint my bunny in this, like a gray or fawn. I think I want the bunny to be fawn. That's what I'll do. I'm going to paint the bunny with fawn. Um, and then I'm going to undercoat the watering can with the silver, with the gray. And then, see, I have driftwood out. Oh no, Bridgeport. I could use Bridgeport because I have silver. But you have to, with metallics, you really have to undercoat. And I got out my um, Tim Holtz mat. Now, I've been reorging. I took all my mosaic stuff out of my cubbies and I replaced it with other stuff. I'm, Joe's putting the CNC machine in the basement. So, um, I'm going to undercoat this. I'm going to do both sides because I'm going to put this in her hand. 
So when I use the jump ring to attach a charm or something, I'm going to put it right around the little handle and she'll be holding a watering can. I just think it's going to be so cute. So I'm getting a little more, you know, extra, like I said. Sometimes you can keep things simple, but I literally bought this stuff because it inspired me and I thought, oh no, I have to make a garden angel. I have a couple friends that really love to garden. One actually has like a farm. She lives in Kentucky. Um, so, gardening's never really been my jam. But neither was cooking, and now I'm cooking up a storm. So you never know. I'm down to try new things. That's my... <clears throat> that's been my my new thing is to take risks and see see if I like it you'll never know until you try alright so that's like undercoated and then I'll put silver on top of it so I'll leave that I like my Tim Holtz mat because you can just wipe everything right off it so let's undercoat or I'm gonna use these two I'll shade it with the dark so I'm just gonna paint I think he's going to be facing this way. I think I'm going to put these together like that on the bottom of the and then he can go right there like kind of in between. I think it's so cute. So um, the eggs that I got I was thinking I could um, these. I could just do little eggy patterns like I got these last year I think and I never painted them. So just something like that on the little ones with wood burning and then paint them and make pins. That's just like an afternoon project. That would be so fun. So um, let's paint him. I was thinking of making them white, but I want them to pop out um, from the fence. Well, not pop out, but not blend in with the fence. But I'll probably, um, I'm going to go lay down after this, I think, because I have a, a, a meeting tomorrow, a meeting that I have to get on Zoom for. Um, I've been busy, you guys, but I need to start meditating. March is going to be meditation month for me. I have to really make it a priority. Um, I have that app called um, In Something In Something Timer. What's it called? In I can't think of it. But I moved Facebook off my like I have to. It's not right there anymore. I don't want to scroll through um, social media. I want to do, I want to meditate. Insight timer it's called. I'm so tired. I, I don't even know if I should be making this video. Um, but, oh, but I'm just excited because this is going to be so cute, you guys. So maybe I'll come back when it's all painted and show you how I'm going to put it together. Um, I can do the details. My little dog has been so bossy lately. She is, you know why? Because she hasn't been getting walks regularly. Did you ever notice that when your dog doesn't get walks? She's like got more energy and she bugs us. Anyway, okay. See, that's kind of, so see, I think I got to shade it with brown. But I'm going to highlight the fence. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to do another coat. This time just the fence. I always have water in my brush, guys. It might not look like it, but 
<clears throat> and I am just going right back into the puddle so I'm not being super careful but it'll look good don't worry and you don't have to do anything fancy like this like I keep saying I'm doing I'm being extra uh oh you know what I do need to think about it'll look cute without me doing the sides you see oh I could use my gold leafing pen I think I'll hit it with the gold leafing pen all right I do have some green where's the green I picked I picked light avocado for the stems and the leaves and we'll see so this is just base coating you can do all this at one time I think this is a nice color and then I'm going to shade the stems just you'll see yeah, that's a good color butterfly so there's a leaf here tonight it's Friday night here and there's a wind advisory so it's actually raining and kind of windy here I'm in New Jersey but we have had such a I shouldn't say it oh no no we've had a very mild winter people are getting snow in California you know what I want to make I'm gonna get a q-tip because I'm gonna make the fence right here I'm gonna make a little pointy part of the fence like that oh wait you know what I mean I'll fix it. Um, California is getting pummeled with snow and such weird weather. Um, but good old New Jersey, we haven't had anything really. Some a little bit of cold snaps, like a couple couple cold days, but nothing really major. All right, I have to, I'm just going to use my pencil for a sec because this goes straight and then up like this, something like that. Um, oh my God, my dog, I think she's burying a bone in my couch. Oh my gosh, here. Can you hear? That's my couch. Kirby, could you stop? What are you doing, Kerbo? Digging a hole in the couch, Mom. Well, knock it off, dog. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to have the flowers painted. Oh, but let me just show you. Ooh, see how that looks thick there? That's because the stem is going behind. See how it like, that's weird, huh, anyway, I gotta, I gotta fix it, I'll do better, alright, so I'll be right back with all that painted and I'll show you how I'm gonna put it on there, okay, so I'm way too tired and I should be going to bed, <laughs> I mean, it came out cute enough. I, I, the hardest part for me is picking colors and stuff. But anyway, so this is what I think I'm going to do. I sanded this, the paper down so it's on there. I'm not sure if I should attach these first and then I should probably be um, embossing the side first. But this is what I'm gonna do. I and here's another thing I thought of. I should attempt I should have attempted to do this before I painted everything is to cut this wood. I hope it cuts. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up 
where I want to cut it right there and then I'm gonna put a pencil mark back there so in other words you can see that pencil mark there and I'm just using my Tim Holtz tonic scissors to cut and it worked pretty darn good um, going to put that there it leaves a little ridginess like ridginess that is that a word okay now this one that's where I'm gonna put the bunny because these two pieces don't fit right up against each other like that like they I could if I cut I could just cut this leaf off they're still not gonna touch touch but I think I will Ooh, I wasn't planning on it at, this is what I was planning on doing so just put it like that and just put that like that and then the bunny would sit right there so it wouldn't you won't even see that they're not I kinda like it like that I'm not gonna cut the yeah I'm just gonna do that alright so this is where this is gonna go so again This really has to be kind of for sure because um, again if I would have done this before I painted I think I would have felt a little more confident now if I mess up it's like I just did all that work for nothing so yeah, I am gonna just trim this leaf a little bit Still looks leafy. Can you see what I'm doing? Barely. There's pain all over the place. I'm so tired. All right. So here's. I need to line this up. Right here. Just going to use the pencil again. And just take the tonic scissors. Hope for the best. Oh, my tulip's going to get cut off. need this piece okay jeez I'm so confused being tired is not good so it doesn't look great right here I'm gonna put I'm probably gonna do that the edges with the gold leafing pen Where did that tulip come from? Was it? It was over here. Yeah, that was good. And then I love it. I think it's going to be so cute. And the butterfly is going to show because I'm just going to put his little butt. My little, um, I'm going to put his butt like right there. <gasps> so cute and it's dimensional oh my gosh I love it so I still have this piece but it's kind of mucked up because I could put it on the back just so that I don't waste it you know 
just like maybe up against one side of the back or something you know cute I'm happy so all I have to do is decide if um, well that fell in the puddle if I'm going to seal it first and I'm not going to do um, the gold leafing on the rabbit but I think I might do the gold leafing on the side because see how the sides look kind of janky I think if I put the gold leafing on that it would really make it look nice it just makes it look so finished I have silver Ooh. I'm going to try the silver leafing pen because I painted the um, the little watering can. I painted it silver. I put some rust on it and stuff. And I'm going to hook that to her hand. But let's see if this... I haven't used this in a while, so I don't know if it's even got ink in it. Yeah, it's not really working. Anyway, I think that's it, you guys. I gotta go to bed. I'm so tired. Yeah, this isn't doesn't seem to be uh and I don't see my gold leafing pen for some reason. You have to kind of pounce it like that, like bounce it up so that the ink gets into the wick. I guess it's called a wick. I don't know what it's called. Let's see. I could just use the silver paint. It's just easier to do it with this. Oh, it's working. I mean, at least it gives it a little... Um, that looks better than just nothing, you know. All right. So this is where I'm at. It's not as juicy as my other... Um, my gold leafing one. But I just want to make it look finished. See how it just like finishes it off a little bit? I probably should have varnished it if I'm going to varnish it. You know what? I, I might just spray it. It's raining right now, so I can't do it now. Because I'm not thinking, because I'm tired. But that looks good. I like it. Oops. What the? What's going on here? Why is that like that? What the heck happened? Did I mess up? Oh, I, I'm doing the wrong one. <laughs> That's the bro This is the piece. So anyway, I'm too tired. I'm going to bed. But isn't it cute? It, it turned out cute. Alright, you guys. Good night.